Hi, Snakes. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Emmanuel. Hi, Michelle. What's up, y'all? Happy Saturday. What's up, Nata Shali? What's going on? How you doing? Happy Saturday. Hi, Ayana. Hi, Andre. What's up? She is Coke. Hi, Sheridan. I just want to preface this by saying this don't look good, but it's delicious. It is bomb. It don't look good, though. I can see how somebody wouldn't think this look good. Hold on. Let me mix it around. Maybe that'll make it look a little bit better. But it don't, it don't look good, but it tastes... I've been eating this all week, too, y'all. That's the bad part. Oh, shit. What's up, Alicia? You finna eat barbecue chicken, mac and cheese. Hi, James. What's up, Chocolate Queen? All right. I don't know what you call it, y'all. I don't know. It might have a name. I don't know. All I know is I did a meal prep and I made some sushi rice. I made some mixed vegetables. So it's um, zucchini, mushrooms, and yellow bell pepper. And then I made some ground turkey. And it's Asian flavored ground turkey. And I topped it with sweet and sour sauce. Delicious. Some shit good as hell. It don't, it don't look like much, but it's good, though. I'm doing pretty good. Hi, Kia. Hi, Janice. This is bomb. Low key, it tastes like meatloaf. It's just good as hell. Y'all yeah, been over here packing. Struggling. I look, my suitcase, my bag, my carry on bag, my suitcase. I'll leave for Ohio tomorrow in the morning. Slapping so over here packing. Me and my mom were supposed to go somewhere tonight, but our plans changed. And that's cool because we got to get up early in the morning to go to the airport. Hey, Michelle. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm probably going to do a happy hour for my birthday. So those that can come that are in the area, I got to find a location to choose a date. But I want to have drinks with y'all. Some appetizers. That'll be fun. I am excited. Mm hmm. I am excited. Hi, Ruby. Yeah, it's going to be cool. I want to spend some time with y'all if I can. That'll be great. Hi, cousin. I hope y'all having a good holiday, too. I hope you and the kids doing good. No, I don't live in Ohio. I just go back and forth. My mom is good. Thank you. Hey, Tamika. Hey, Erica. Mm, mm, mm. I'm so good. This is the fifth day I've eaten this, y'all. This is the fifth day I've, I've eaten this. This shit is good. Hi, Samaria. 
Get you some food, Ruby. Get you a plate. Anybody just came in, I'm eating rice, some sushi rice, mixed vegetables, which is just mushroom, zucchini, and yellow bell pepper, and some ground turkey with like Asian flavors. Topped it with some sweet and sour sauce. Delicious. I think I'll be all right. I'm ready though. I got my boots. I got my pea coat. I got a I got a coat out there too. And I got I got my uh scarf. I got beanies. I got every that's why my bag's so damn heavy. Hi Whitney. Hi Angelique. Mm, the short like eerie is freezing. I know. I think it's gonna be like 23 degrees when I get there, 25 degrees, something like that. The weather not to play with. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be a rude awakening for me. I'm sure of that. Hi Lisa. Where are you going? I'll be in the collide not too far from Columbus. Yes, thank you too. Tell your mom and dad I said hello. I will. I sure will. I'm going to be out there until February 12th. So I'm going to be there for a while. A while. So. We're taking a road trip for New Year's Eve. So far, the weather looks like it's going to be all right. So, taking a road trip for a party that we're going to. I live about two hours from Columbus in West Virginia. Also, only two hours away. It's cold. Hey, short lady C. Hi, Dion. What's going on? How you doing? What's up, Amazing Star? What's up, Dear Renee? Hi, Brian. What's going on, y'all? What's up? Happy Saturday. I was like, man, I haven't gone live in a long time. Someone, how y'all doing? What's going on? How the holiday season going? On the line of Ohio. Man, Ohio next to everything. That's what I'm learning real fast. I feel like we didn't talk about this in school. I can't believe how close Ohio is to stuff. You know, it's been cold in California, though, too. Like, I, I, it's been a couple. It hasn't been this cold in a couple years. But, like, every morning last week when I woke up, my car had ice on it. And it was, like, in the 30s, which is really cold for us. Really, really cold. It's been raining all weekend. It's so cold. Are you going to be online when you get over there? Yeah, I'll probably go live. I'll still be putting out videos. I got all the stuff I need to record because, you know, I took a bit of a break and I'm back into the rhythm of like recording and stuff. And I want to make sure I keep that momentum. I don't want to stop recording. Like I started, a, I started my travel vlog today. So I'm going to take y'all along with me. I started, I showed y'all my stuff that I packed y'all. The stuff that I have in my suitcase is ridiculous. Um, So I have all of that. I'm going to take you guys with me to the airport tomorrow and everything too. So yeah, I'm still going to be putting out videos. Twelve degrees, Brian. Where you at? Mm -mm. That ain't the life of me, Lord. I wish you safe travels and many blessings. I'm glad to see you so happy. Enjoy and have a very merry Christmas and a happy New Year. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth. I hope you have a great holiday season too. Enjoy your family, create some new memories, eat some good food, laugh, be present. Um. And just, you know, be safe too. Above all, be safe. It's a lot going on in the world. This is a different type of cold. I'm not ready to deal with all the snow and the cold. Yeah, I think it's almost better that I'm flying out tomorrow instead of Christmas, uh, the day after Christmas. Because I was looking at the weather and I think it's snowing. Like when I get there, like a couple of days later, I think it's snowing. I think it snowed today in Ohio, right? But is this the life for you? But it is the life for you. <laughs> whatever babe yeah it's the life of me 
Lucky I love you, girl. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to switching things up, though. I am. Hi, Daisy. What's up, Malika? Did you get to meal prep or plan with Auntie? She came in here taking notes the other day. So she did take notes. We didn't cook together because I was gone for the last two nights. I went over to Tasha's house. I was there Thursday night and last night too. So I was gone for a couple of days uh, leading up to me leaving. I wanted to make sure I saw them before I left. So I've been there for the last two nights. So we didn't get a chance to like prep like she wanted to. But she did take notes about some stuff that she wanted to make. You know you love me, boo. I do. Crabby leg Christmas. Hey, Crystal. Definitely a white, definitely a white Christmas. Seven degrees by next week. What? I live about 50 miles east of Cleveland. Why? Oh my oh Jesus. Seven degrees. I'm gonna be in the house. It doesn't even matter. I'm gonna be in the house. I'll be in the house out here in California. I'm gonna be in the house out there too. It's fine. And then honey, you're gonna be driving me around everywhere because I'm not driving in the snow. I mean, it's gonna take some serious getting used to. So I hope you're ready to drive me around, babe. For real, because, like, girl, what? Mm -mm. I ain't got time for none of that. And I'm fine being in the house. You know, put me on the hoodie, some socks, the heater. I'm straight. Hi, Sonia. What's going on? How you doing? Happy uh, Saturday to you. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair, y'all. I wanted to, like, braid it or something, but... What's up, JB? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I got all that. Oh, Nick, I got, I got like six hoodies. I got four sweatsuit outfits. I got two pair of, uh, I got two pair of winter boots. I got a black coat out there already. I'm taking a pea coat with me. I'm wearing a hoodie on the plane. Uh, I got gloves, uh, thermals, beanies. I got all the things. I'm ready. I am ready. And look, anything I don't have, I'm going to Amazon to get it. Mm -mm. I don't want to do snow drive on the truck. No, 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 no. I know it's cold. Hi, sun drive. I know you said you in Columbus. I know it's cold out there. I know I'm not ready. I'm wearing a hoodie and my pea coat on the plane. Because I ain't trying to, I mean... I can't pack that big-ass jacket. So I'm going to be ready. I think it's going to be like 25 when I get there. Hi, Anna. You hate the cold and the snow? I'm struggling. And the winter hasn't even started yet. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know, y'all. That was so damn good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm from the Bronx, and I'm like only only one who don't wear a coat. What? So the the the, the um cold weather don't phase you? Do you have any book recommendations? I've been wanting to read these days book recommendations what books have i loved what kind of books though because I, I i can give you a, the books i'll give you they're gonna be like a bunch of personal development books that's the kind of stuff i, pro I pretty much read lately so what kind of books do you want to read because i might not get i might give you something that you don't want to read you know so tell me that what genre what kind of what kind of books you want to read no heat or heated seats in the car on purpose so you can embrace the cold girl no mm -mm. Absolutely not. I'm telling you, we ain't gonna be going nowhere then. The monk books. You already know I'm a, you know I'm gonna recommend that book. I'm boiling my baby. He about to kick me out. My blood count is real low. Stay in, but you will go crazy with cabin fever. Thermals are the best to fight our cold. Any and good for you. You're smart not to drive in snow, specifically if you haven't done it. Yeah, I need some time to ease into that. I'm not ready to just start driving in the snow. You'll be okay with your honey in the fireplace and hot chocolate. See? I'm saying that's how they just seem real fairy tale to me. I'm like, cool, it's snowing. I ain't got them going nowhere anyway. Don't make me none. You still got the AC on. Oh, no, no, it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a big adjustment for me. 
Thank you, Anna. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair. I need to like braid it or something or something. It feels like my hair is kind of adjusting since I went and got my ends trimmed. I don't know what it's doing, but it hasn't been. I don't know. It's acting a little weird, but it'll be all right. Honestly, sci-fi is my go-to. Anything is fine. Okay. So sci-fi. I definitely have no sci-fi recommendations. Um, I mean, my favorite books are... Hold on. Let me go on what you call it real quick to tell you. Ego is the Enemy is probably one of my favorite books. Ego is the Enemy. I love this book called I'm Glad My Mom Is... Mom, I'm Glad My Mom Died. It's pretty good by Jeanette McCurdy. The girl from iCarly. That book is really good. And you know what? I like it so much because um, she talks about her eating disorder in the book. She had a bulimia. She suffered from bulimia for many years in her life. Um, what else? Think Like a Monk is one of my favorite books as well by Jay Shetty. Love that book. Love, love, love. Um, you know who's, what book is really good is Will. Will's book is really good. Will Smith's book is incredible. Will Smith's book is amazing. I might listen to that again. Untamed is really good too by Glenn Do by Glennon Doyle. Really, really good. Um, Gabrielle Union's both of her books are good. We're gonna need more wine, and you got anything stronger. Those books were really good. I really enjoyed those a lot. The Five A.M. Cl Club is great. Um, Atomic Habits, an incredible book. Um, I will say get it braided up. You will be wearing a hat, scarf, and gloves. It's okay. Braids might be a good idea. Okay. So those are some book recommendations, books that I enjoyed, that I really, really enjoyed reading. Y'all on the same page. Look, and that's the thing. That's why I be at the house with a hoodie on because she be even in the cold ass weather. She still be she still be hot. She is still hot. What's up, Judy? What's going on? Happy Saturday to you. I can't believe how high your body temperature is when it's cold as hell. It's outside like that. But yeah, y'all, I just jumped on here real quick to say what's up. See how y'all been doing. I haven't gone live in a while. And I just wanted to pop in real quick. Really? So y'all be having the air and shit on? The air and all that? Like the fans? Y'all have the fans and like AC going when it's cold as hell outside? Mm-mm. And for me, it don't take much. Like even when it's hot outside, sometimes I'm still cold. I miss watching your mom doing mug bongs with you. I keep the window cracked. Ugh. That damn window and that air be cold as hell. But it's all right though. I got you to close that window last time too, didn't I? Mm-hmm. We have to we have to compromise, babe. Uh, same to you. Great night. It is cold. I have my fan on because I can't breathe at night sometimes. Damn. Mm -mm. Hell no. Absolutely not. I want to put a hoodie on right now. I'm a little cold. I mean, it's not cold, but I just want something warm. You know what I'm saying? A fan, you sleep with a fan every night? You almost suffocated? No, you didn't. You did not almost suffocate. Lady Young. I have the fan on it and window open. What's crazy is that the window really wasn't even open that much. I could not believe how much air, cold ass air, came through that small crack the window wasn't open that much so i'm thinking how cold it could be potentially when i come back with that window open it could because it's a lot colder now i think when i was there it was like in the 40s 40s 50s now it's in the 20s teens and shit come on now mm -mm. i can be cold as ice with that fan stay on mm -mm. that's why it was so hard to pack because i was you know packing Heavy ass clothes so I can stay warm. You know, gonna have to use another fan. I said yes, I did. And didn't sleep for days. No, we gonna we gonna compromise. I want I don't want you to be hot. 
I don't. That's why I don't mind bundling up. I really don't mind bundling up. And you know that. And then with your hot ass body, when you're next to me, it all balances itself out anyway. Because yo, I feel your body heat. I could be knocked out of sleep and if the fan or air stops, I automatically wake up and be like, hell no, what? It's snowing and it's 27 degrees and I, and I still sleep with the fan on every night. It's just what I do. I can't even imagine. I don't even have a fan. I don't even own a fan. Like we have a fan, but it's not in my room. Fleece is good. Oh, that's a, that okay, Sundrop. That's a, thank you for that suggestion. Fleece is good. I should have got. Do I have anything fleece? <laughs> oh no. Plus the white noise from the fan is so soothing. Okay, so that helps you sleep too. The noise. You know, growing up, I was thinking about like I like when I was younger. Does anybody sleep with the TV on or sleep with music? For most of my like childhood and like when I was a teenager, like probably until I was like 20, I could not sleep without music when I couldn't sleep in silence. I could not sleep in silence. And also now, so honey, she likes to sleep with the TV on. It doesn't bother me because I used to do it as well. But I mean, I could not sleep in silence at all. I have to have, I used to have to have something on. Now when I'm sleeping myself, I, I, silence is good. Um, the fan lovers, I put the fan on and hide under the blankets. Mm. We're going to see. We're going to see what we're going to do to meet in the middle about this. Because, y'all, I'll be bundled up when I'm, at, when I'm at her house. I have on socks, a shirt, hoodie, sweats, you know. <clears throat> what y'all got going on for the rest of the weekend? I'm thinking I'm going to get up at like 6 in the morning. We should leave by 6.45. You guys see the TV on? I had to kind of get used to it because I, I usually, I don't do it anymore. But it didn't take long to get used to it though. Wait, what? Hi, Karen. Sipping on gin and juice. Same, Rhonda. When it's quiet, I can't fall asleep. Even if I'm studying, I need some noise because I cannot focus. It's weird. For real, like when I'm writing or like I'm trying to be in the zone, I ha I like to listen to music. I love music, but I have to listen to instrumentals or like jazz music that does that's where it's just the instrumental part of it. Instrumentation, no no lyrics. Um, because the, the song starts to distract me. The lyrics distract me. So I love music, but I got to play instrumentals only because um, I get caught up in the song. I start singing along and all that kind of stuff, and I don't get done done. So I love listening to music. You excited? You said you're excited about me being here? I'm excited. This is our first. Well, it's not our, well we spent Thanksgiving together. I'm excited about us spending Christmas together, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Um, I'm excited about all that. It's going to be fun. What's up, P? What's going on? How you doing? Happy Saturday to you. I might have to get a warming blanket. Man, I already smashed that food, Karen. I had some sushi rice, some mixed vegetables, which was uh, mushrooms, zucchini, yellow bell pepper, and I had some ground turkey, and it was like Asian. I put like Asian flavors in it, and I topped it with sweet and sour sauce. Bomb. That's what I ate, but I killed it. What's up, Mara? What's going on? How you doing? Happy Saturday to you. I'm good, Pete. Thank you for asking. Do you still have COVID? Where you? I mean, I'm, yeah, COVID is definitely a thing. I'm definitely wearing a mask when I fly. I don't know that I will go back to flying without a mask, honestly. I don't know. Kind of feels weird. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the last, when I flew the last time when I was out there, going and coming, it was people hacking all over the place. And I'm like, just in general, I don't want to catch a cold. So I feel like I'm going to always fly with a mask on. I have a heating pad and a weighted blanket. Sounds delicious. Thank you. Um, yeah, COVID is definitely still going on out here. It is between that, the respiratory infections, the flu, like it's a lot going on. So y'all please be safe and take care of yourselves. Take care of yourself. Thank you, honey, for reminding everybody. If you haven't done so already, please thumb up, thumbs up the live football food and watch the snowfall prepare for Christmas, more cookies to make wear the mask. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna have one though. Hell yeah. Soon as I get out the car, putting my shit on. 
drinking hot cocoa. I haven't had cocoa in a long time. Cocoa sounds good right now because I'm a little I'm a little cold right now. Let's see in California what is it right now? It is. Let's look at the weather real quick. Right now it is 52, and guess what it is out there? 28. Shit, that sounds cold as hell. Oh my god. Okay, so what time my flight land? My flight land at mm, like five. It's gonna be 28 degrees when I land tomorrow. Unfortunately, it'll be soup, cough drops, and tea for me tonight. You not feeling well, Leah? I hope you feel better soon. Did you see the post? Re repost her baby boy looks like his mama. So cute. I haven't been on social media, amazing star. Now, but I do want to see that though. I'm gonna have to look and see what's up, Shawty World. I'm gonna have to look and see that. I haven't been on um, uh, I haven't been on Twitter or Instagram, which I kind of like. I like not being on there. I've been way more productive. What's up, Angela? What's going on? We got the same last name. So yeah. Somebody asked if I was still going to be recording while I'm in Ohio. Definitely. Continue recording, putting out videos. I have a couple things I'm thinking about doing and just got to get them done. So, nope, not feeling good at all. My students love to give out hugs. Ah, uh, so you got sick from one of the kids. Them damn kid colds, my God. Yo, I've only been sick from a kid one time and that's the worst cold I've ever had in my life. Worst cold I ever had in my life. I was sick for about two and a half weeks. I thought I was gonna die. Like them kid germs. Mm -mm. I think you should be good this trip because your body adjusted to the weather change. And you know what? I feel like my body never really recovered from um the time change. Since I've been back, I've been like every night I get sleepy around like seven or eight o'clock. So there was a three hour time difference. This hand ashy as hell. Don't worry about this ashy ass hand, y'all. Um, it's the time, the three hour time difference. And then I think I came back the date at the time changed. So my body just like been off, has been off the whole time. So here, like since I've been back home, I've been back home since November 6th. And I like every night I'm tired, like clockwork at like seven. Seven, eight o'clock, I'm ready to lay down. Like, I have to force myself to stay up because it's still early, you know? I love comfort food in cold weather. I do, too. I love comfort food in all weather, but definitely in cold weather, for sure. Um, hey, Rhonda and fam, just coming by real quick to say, love y'all. I hope everybody's safe. What's up, William? Thank you for coming through and saying, what's up? It's good to see you. Hope all has been well with you. Loving the stories and the homemade food. Thank you, Stacy. I had a story time I just wrote the other day. I don't know if I'm going to tell it. I got to I gotta revisit the story and see if it's good. Not really sure if I like it or not. So I want to do a story time this coming week. We'll see if I can get that done. Um, yeah, I want to, I want to, I really want to make sure I stay back in my bag in terms of story times. Like story times are really my shit. Like I, like now that I've told a story time after not telling one for three months, I really realized how much I missed it and really just how much storytelling is really just like really a part of who I am, you know? So getting back to it, I'm so glad that I'm back to it. Cause I really missed it. I missed that shit a lot. So I'll be telling one of my nieces to say, don't spray it all the time, <laughs> man. I caught a live again. Hey, beautiful people. What's up? Just me. What's going on? Happy Saturday to you. <laughs> William, why did I, why was she not part of the blue crew? Why are I doing like that? Why did I do, babe? Why why weren't you a moderator? Why you didn't say nothing? Why you didn't tell me you wasn't a moderator? I mean, clearly I can see that you wasn't one. But it took me forever. I just made her a moderator like two weeks ago. Uh, thank you, Mara. Love your story times. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. And your topics. Thank you. I really, I really appreciate that. That means a lot to me, for real. And you do great story times, but I want to see a dance-off. A dance-off with who? Who am I dancing against? Um, I love topics. I always have though. I love to just have like an open discussion about so many things. And I think I told y'all this, but like back in 2011, I used to throw these like debate parties and man, we used to have so many fire ass topics. I love topics. So I wish it was like an open discussion where we could like, I could hear y'all like chime in at like real time because believe it or not, I actually learned a lot 
when you got when y'all comment, when you comment on the topic and tell me what you think about it, I learn a lot from other people. You know, when you guys are telling me like your experience or, you know, how you would handle it or how your mom handled something or whatever, that really is so helpful for me in terms of like perspective. You know, because a lot of stuff I'm like, oh, I would have never done that, you know, because I'm used to thinking one way about certain things. So um that's why I love topics so much. Love topics. Like a Zoom? Oh, that would be kind of cool. Like a Zoom. I said I was going to do a Zoom too, but I'm just thinking like how to do it. Like what I want to do. I could do panels. I could do panels because you know what? I have, um, I can either do it on um, StreamYard or I have this platform called ReShare that I, that I have access to as well. So maybe, well, maybe we can do something like that. Only thing I don't like about Zoom only thing I don't like about Zoom is there the de delay sometimes, and also when people start cutting their microphone off and on, and I don't like the tech part of it. When people can't access the Zoom, trying to manage and help them get on the Zoom can be time consuming. You know, that's the only thing I don't like about that part. So I think that I could do it to where we could be live, and a couple of people come up at a time. You get what I'm saying? Couple folks, couple like maybe three people, two or three people at a time, and then once they're done saying whatever they have to say, I can let up more people. We can talk about whatever. That might be kind of cool. Yeah, my sister told me I should do a story time about my eight month old son and hidden pregnancy for a long time. Do it. People love story times. Like story times are really popular on YouTube. Like very popular. Yeah. So that's one thing about Zoom. Zoom, I hate like, I remember I did like a virtual meet and greet in August of 2020. Shout out to everybody that came. We had a great time, but like managing everything and people were coming in and like me constantly getting emails and DMs of like, I can't get in. I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to push? I don't have the app. How do I do this? How do I do that? It gets, you know, you, it, cause you want to help people. You want to help everybody get on, but it's, it's just hard to like, you know what I'm saying? Be present. And then you turn somebody's microphone off and they turn it back on. You know what I mean? All that stuff. And people feeling pressure to be on camera. I didn't want nobody to feel pressure to be on camera. You know what I mean? So, uh, what's up, Aaliyah? What's going on? How you doing? Good to see you. Rhonda, do you drink honey, ginger, turmeric tea? I drink a honey turmeric chai tea that is delicious. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Instagram does allow you to have, what, three, three four people total? Oh my God, that was so fun. But folks didn't know what to do. <laughs> I was nervous as hell. I was so nervous being on Zoom with y'all. You've got some good stories. Like about your personal life or stories that you want to tell, short stories. She finally added me. Hope I make y'all proud. Sorry, I'm... <laughs> Whatever, babe. What's up, Shelby? What's going on? How you doing? Are you moving out of YouTube? Is that what you're talking about? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that at all. No. No, I'm not moving off YouTube at all. I'm talking about how I love to do like topics and um, how like we, you know, we might do some, try to figure out how to do it live where we have different topics that we're talking about. And then I'll bring a few people on at a time to talk about the topic. So no, I'm, I'm still going to be here on YouTube. What's up, Jemiah? What's going on? How you doing? I think we was all nervous until we started really drinking and talking right. It took a little time to warm up, but once we started drinking and talking, and I'm so glad that my friends was there. That really helped me a lot. It did. It helped me and my nerves. Um, that helped a lot. So we was twerking at the, in the kitchen, like cooking. We had a good time. It was fun. We did play games, giveaways. I might do something like that again soon. But that's why I'm saying for everybody, too, that's out in the Ohio area, I hope that I get a chance to meet some of y'all soon in person. And I, I, I want to do something in California, too, and I will. But since that's where I'll be for a little bit and it just kind of worked out that way, the first time I'm going to do like a small meet and greet, I guess, or whatever, happy hour. I just want y'all to come and hang out for a little bit. We can have some appetizers, some drinks and, um, you know, meet each other and have fun. We did, This Zoom was a long time ago, Leah. Like this was August 2020, long time ago. Cutting out gluten and dairy and eating fresh is so much better. Don't you wish people did mukbangs healthy? They are really killing people with all this fast food videos. Um, stories about me and made up ones. Okay. Okay. I mean, I think people should just mukbang whatever they want to mukbang, honestly. You know what I'm saying? And if you know, and if it's something that you don't enjoy or want to watch somebody eating, then you don't have to watch it. That's really the solution. 
Um, William said it was lit. We had fun. I had a really good time. I did. Uh, I'm not doing too good. My mom called the police on me and told them she didn't feel safe around me and she's trying to kick me out and make me homeless. What? What happened? Oh my God, I'm sorry that you're going through that. That is horrible. Like, are you okay right now? Are you still at home? Are you at a friend's house or a family member's house? It was fun. And we even babysat someone's kid. Who? Somebody on there had y'all babysitting somebody's kids? Y'all, who left their kids unsupervised? I'm saying, I'm an SG bro. I'm always in blue. Please, I was crying. People were saying they going to snatch some snitch when their mama come. It was people on there. I didn't know that. I was also lit, so it don't really matter. I was, I was, oh my God, I was so lit. Woof. I know, but I'm saying people on the Zoom had y'all watching their kids for them. Are you for real? I didn't know that. This is my first time hearing that. I had, I did not know that. But again, I also was lit. My friends was on there hosting while I was doing other stuff. So I didn't know that. If I twist my hair, because you know what, Aaliyah, I need to do something to my hair. I just might do my hair while I'm on here because this shit got to go. I need to get my spray bottle. I got my products right here. Mine, um, you, yours, how long does it take you to switch your hair? I got my stuff right here, ready to do my hair. That is so funny. Hi, Paula. What's going on? How you doing? No, for real, we was... <laughs> it was nervous, nervous. I forgot the name, but I was dying. She said that I was disrespecting her and haven't talked to her for a week. The police said that she can't just kick me out, but I'm ready to die. What? No, Jemiah. Don't say that. Please don't say that. That's not the solution. Like you're young and you have a lot of life to live. If you do, you know, even if your mom saw things one particular way, like, Trust me, your life is just getting started. It is. You know what I'm saying? And look, parents will be parents sometimes and say things that you don't agree with, but it's their house, whatever. Now, I do think she took it too far with the police. I don't think that that's necessary. And I don't even know what to say because I, I was not expecting you to say that, but I do not want you to feel that way. I don't want you to feel that way. I don't. You know, things always get better. Believe it or not, they do. You know, things always have a way of getting better. Yes, please reach out, please. Please. Like I have my I have the what you call it turned off on Instagram, but I'll get on Instagram. If you want to call, I will pick up your call. You know, I don't want you to feel that way. Yeah. Things might be feeling challenging right now, but keep your head up. Don't get distracted by the setback. Yeah. Don't let that be the reason because you know, to be honest with you, like I hate that you experienced that, but it's a lot like life is always gonna come at you like that. It's gonna be always something going on, you know. Something all you know, you take 10 steps forward and it feel like you get 20 steps back. You know, that's gonna happen throughout life. And I don't ever want you to feel like that you're not being here fixes that because it doesn't, to be honest with you. It doesn't. You know, there's so much pain and uh, that comes along with people feeling like I not and look, I'm not saying that anybody, I'm not knocking anybody that goes that route. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what people are experiencing, but I'm saying like life is gonna come at you, life is gonna life all the time. And sometimes it might be your mom. Sometimes it might be the person you're in a relationship with. Sometimes it might be your boss. It might be your siblings. Things are going to mount up. Things will be stacked against you all the time, all the time, you know? And I don't want to make it seem like life is not worth living because of the challenges that are ahead. But what I'm saying is that there's something that's always greater, always, you know, always. So is it okay to take a rest? Is it okay to take a break? Is it okay to kind of be off by yourself? Is it okay to go off and work on yourself? Is it okay to do this and do that? Sure. But I don't ever want you to feel like that you being here makes everything better because it doesn't. It just doesn't, you know? The solution is to get your revenge by being successful and living the life you want to live. When you're wealthy and they call, call on you for support, remember how they treated you. Um, I'm here to talk to you. I've been in a similar situation, so I could definitely relate. I know it's easier said than done, but you have to stay strong. 
Yes, moving forward always defeats what's behind. There's so much more outside of dealing with your mother. And Rhonda is right. Life sometimes just isn't always good. Got to take the bitter with the sweet. It's not. Like, it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, when you really get out there, because I know that you're young. I think you're like, I think you're like 18 years old. I think you're 18, 19, something like that, right? There's so much about life. Like, when you get to 25 and look back at 18, then you get to 30 and look back at 25, then you get to 40 and look back at 30, it's always about growth and moving forward. It's always about reflection. It's always about making yourself better. Like you're never, I hope that you never stop making yourself better, you know, and realizing that you're constantly changing and evolving, you know? And that's the thing because you're like 18, 19 years old, you may be more opinionated, you know, than your mother would like, you know, or you may be doing things that she doesn't want you to do, but it's just you trying to come into yourself. And she wants to maybe control that. I don't know what it is, but you know, that happens sometimes where we end up clashing with our parents because we're coming into our own. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want you to feel like that that's the solution because I don't I don't think it is. I don't. Especially when you're young and have so much potential. Like, you know, you've been in here several times and there's just a lot for you to still learn, experience, be a part of, understand, see, talk about, think about, you know, all of it, you know, for real. I'm trying my best to ignore her, but sometimes she just gets under my skin. That's going to happen. People are going to get under your skin for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? Like they are, you know, you're going to get under somebody else's skin. Somebody going to get under your skin, you know? And the thing about it is we have to find a way to navigate that. We have to find a way to rely on ourselves to get through those things. You know, when people get on my nerves or whatever, I have my coping me mechanisms. You know, I have my music. I have my meditations. I have the things that help me center and calm myself down, you know? to control myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not always easy. Sometimes I want to go off at the deep end every time, but I have so much to lose that I can't just go off all the time. I can't just act a certain way. And quite frankly, I don't want to exert that kind of energy. It takes so much to go off on other people. It's exhausting, you know? So me going and sitting somewhere quietly for 15 minutes to regroup and get myself together, that's just stuff that you learn over time, to be honest with you, you know? But I just hope that you feel like that, you know, that there's, trust me, things are going to happen. I will, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that life is all peachy and shit because it's not. It's not. It's always some shit going on. Always. It can honestly stand from jealousy. Maybe you have opportunities that she didn't and she doesn't know how to support you properly because she never got the support she needs. That happens a lot in the parent-child dynamic for sure. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes when the parent is the one creating the better life for you, they resent you for actually having it, you know, and that sucks, you know, but that's their experience because of what they experienced in their childhood. You know, our childhood plays such a significant role in who we become, you know, uh, but even still, it ain't an excuse to treat your kids like shit. She needs to, she needs to heal for you both. A setback just is just a setup for something better. Everyone's path they walk is different. And I want you to know the feelings you have now are valid, but please don't let the enemy out after your path. Yeah. The situation with your mom is preparing you for the real world. Take it with a grain of salt. That's why I try not to say anything because she could be going through things. Yeah, she could be. But even if she is, it doesn't make it right for her to treat you any kind of way and also involve the police uh, for something that doesn't require the police to be involved. Um, and, you know, the thing about it is when you, when you, when you feel like that, you know, okay, Maybe it's time for me to, you know, not be at home anymore. If, especially if you're feeling like it's a it's a place where you're not comfortable or welcome, then you got to come up with a plan to figure out what you're going to do. You know, am I going go to <clears throat> am I going to go to school, live on campus? Am I going to get a job, get my own place? Like, what is the plan? And it ain't all. It's not easy. You know, living right now, living expenses and shit is not easy at all. But you know, what's the plan? Are you going to go live with two roommates, people that you know, people that you trust? You know what I mean? We all go through things, though. There's still no excuse for her to treat you like the way she's been. <laughs> Patrick's girlfriend just broke up with him. I do have an older sister. Okay, so is there maybe a way that you can go live with your older sister? Without playing tonight. 
Hold on. People crazy. I hate when trolls come in here. This shit is annoying. It's just unnecessary. What's up, Mahogany? Stay down until you come up. You'll get to the space you need. Keep going. You will. You will. And to be honest with you, I'd be lying to you if I told you I never had thoughts of what you said. Like, I like I don't want to be here. You know? I was just talking about the other day. I've, I felt like that, that everybody else's life might be better with me being gone. You know? I felt like I didn't have a purpose. I don't know why I was here. Money was always an issue. Like, I just I just felt like I didn't have any direction. I didn't know where I was going. Nothing. You know, and and I just I I just didn't believe in nothing. You know what I'm saying? I didn't believe in anything. Myself, my relationship with God wasn't shit. You know, and my entire world was just kind of like off its axis. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just I was just here. I was existing, but I wasn't alive. And you know, to be honest with you, um, it's just one of those things. You know what I mean? Feeling like it's going Mercury retrograde. Feel like it's gonna be a tough one. I can't, but I have to wait until June because she is in college. Okay. Okay. Nah, because the niggas is really out me. So yesterday I wanted to lay down and die because it's just so much going on with me. But girl, today I feel hopeful. This too shall pass. Yeah, I think, I mean, we I think we all had the voices in our head. It's just about do you listen to it? Do you give into it? That's what I think. You know, so yeah, I have felt that way too. I felt like I didn't, I felt like I didn't have a purpose. You know what I'm saying? So come on, y'all. Why tonight? Why, why tonight? What y'all, why y'all ain't got nothing else to do? What's up, Ace? What's going on? Good to see you. Happy Saturday to you. That shit crazy. I don't even know. The enemy will tell you a lie in your own voice. Yes, which makes it believable. It makes it believable. It does, you know. Talking about we need God. You need a job. Oh, God. Another day might be too long. I don't know what state you're in. Reach out to your local human resources. Place they have counseling and emergency services. I would have been dead a long time ago. I just don't have the balls to do it. But I have a good relationship with God. So maybe that's why. Or well, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it is that's made you not do it, um, I pray to God that that continues to be enough for you to keep on living and understanding that you're here for a reason. Because you are. Yes, that's the truth. You are. I had to send Jackson to the ER, so squad. Wait, because why? But she's still coming. It's crazy. She's wild. Mm -hmm. Keep your faith. You you definitely have to keep your faith for sure in God and just, you know, turn to God, honestly, you know, because that's the thing. Like, I feel like that that's what builds up us up as people, like our own personal experiences. You know what I'm saying? Like when you so disconnected and so out of touch with reality because you up here, you experiencing this all the time, you're so out of touch with everybody else that's going through other shit, you know, and it's really important to uh, to have empathy and compassion for people and sometimes that empathy and compassion stems from your own personal experiences like what you're talking about right now is something that you'd be able to share to somebody when you turn 30 years old about how you felt and how the darkness was there and how the light even the light always comes back always you know and if you allow it to that's the thing if you allow it to you know it, there's always an opportunity for light and you'll get a chance to talk about your experiences, you know what I'm saying, to be able to change somebody else's life in the future. <sighs> what happened? Hey, what's up, Renee? Baby, this is why I took so long for a blue name, because I'm ready to square up, okay, Troll? <laughs> uh... <laughs> this is crazy. I haven't had Trolls in a minute. It's wild. Anyways, what's up, Mark? 
crazy. I'm tired. I'm lazy. Right, I'm finna get in the shower. We twisting our hair or nah? Man, leave. I need. I honestly, I'm. I'm not gonna twist my hair though. I need to put some water on it, some product, and I'm putting two braids. So you twisting your whole head or just the front? Or the perimeter? You twisting your whole head? Oh, that feels good. My legs is tight. Just a little love is all. Oh, you a whole head. Okay. Saw it up, pop in, couldn't get on. talking with my cousin. Hope you're having a blessed Saturday and hello, chat. What's going on, Reed? What's up? Happy Saturday to you. Two braids is cheating. How is two braids cheating? Why I gotta be a cheat? Y'all, last night, have y'all ever played um Monopoly, the cheaters edition? Have y'all ever played the Monopoly Cheaters Edition? Y'all, that shit was lit. We played last night. Me, Steph, and Tasha, yo. We played that shit for two hours because first we had to give ourselves a curfew because on Thursday, y'all, we stayed up until 5 o'clock in the morning like some goddamn fools, okay? We stayed up till 5 in the morning doing way too much. We did the most on, on Thursday going into Friday. So we had to give ourselves a curfew, y'all. That shit was so fun. I haven't played Monopoly in years. But the Cheaters Edition, I like that shit. I got to buy it. I have to buy it. Baby phone only works on Wi-Fi. She says she's focusing on results, Leah. <laughs> Goons using the McDonald's Wi-Fi going crazy. They need to be asking the employers there for a job application. <laughs> yes, they have. a. Oh, yes, it's a Cheater Edition. And when I say Cheater like, they give you things to, like, do, like, to cheat during the game. And, like, if you successfully cheat without getting caught, you're rewarded. But then if you're caught cheating, you got to give something up. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's like, the, the, the premise of it. Uh, listen, I, we, we was up like some fools, okay? We was up doing karaoke, y'all. Me and Tasha started wrestling. We was fucking slap boxing. What was we doing? What else? We was just uh, just random ass shit. We was just doing. We was having fun though. So I'm so glad that I got to see them before I left. So glad. Um, it's fun. It's fun. Alicia was telling me that the game was on sale at um Target, right? I think Target was having a sale on games. Monopoly will really have you fa your family secrets exposed. <laughs> It's like it's hard to stoop, but that looks hard. I'm to no, it's not. And you know what's so funny? I hadn't played in so long that I had to get used to like the concept of the game. Cause I mean, when I say I haven't played, I haven't played in like 15 years. I played it like the original game better. You like the original game better? Yeah, I like the cheater edition. It was fun. It was a nice way to kind of mix things up. Uh hello everyone and happy holidays to you all. Happy holidays to you too, Re. I need a massage or something. Whew, shit, wow, it's, I'm sleepy. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all should have seen me. I was like little half dead all day yesterday. I was struggling. Okay, woke up, was hungover like a motherfucker. Hungover, had a headache. Low key, I feel like I wanted to vomit. I definitely feel like I wanted to throw up a couple times, but I, I, I was cool. I worked through it, drank some water, and ugh. And then had the nerve to have a drink last night. Mm, mm, mm. The thimble. I am tired. I feel very tired. I'm tired from um, packing. Packing wore me out. Honestly, packing wore me out. I'm tired. And I, oh, and I'm tired because, like, I mean, like I said, we was up at five. We was up at five. I lay down until like eight thirty and got up for the day. The thimble or the boot? What was I? I was a um. I don't know what I was. Was I a rooster? No, that wasn't a rooster. I don't know what the hell I was. What's your only right answer? Period. Uh, or the stank boot for me? Packing. You going to delicious place? I am. I'm going tomorrow. I'm going tomorrow. To yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. I'm excited. Uh huh. Yep, traveling tomorrow. My flight leave at 10 tomorrow. 
And it's funny because like I was checking in today, the flight looked empty, which is great. It looks empty. And when they showed like the seating chart, it seemed like the flight is it's not even like half full. Um, I've gotten really lucky. So every time I go visit her, there's never anybody sitting in the middle. It's always a part because like I always ask for the I like the seat in the I know this is crazy, but I like the seat. Um, I like the aisle seat. I love the aisle seat for whatever reason. And so I'm hoping that I have a whole row to myself. When I was checking in today, the whole row was mine. So hopefully it's like that tomorrow. Um, I found on uh, I found me a better job. I work at Planet Fitness now. I actually like it. Oh, that's good. That's good. You coming back after New Year's or after Christmas? I will be back February 12th. I'll be gone for a while. Yeah, I'll be out there for a while. So I got I got some I actually have some work to do while I'm out there too, which is I'm really looking forward to. I got some work and some events and stuff going on while I'm out there. What y'all plans out there for you and Lisha? So what we doing? We taking a, we're taking a road trip for New Year's Eve. We're taking a road trip for New Year's Eve. Um, her friend is having a party. We're doing that. Um, we'll have a couple of date nights, I'm sure, sprinkled in there. Um, I have uh Nicole said, What's that? What's what, Nicole? Damn, February 12th. I know that's right. <laughs> um, then the weekend of the what's that? The third, the fourth, February 4th. I got some event stuff going on with my film going on in, out there in Ohio. And then the following week, I'm going to celebrate my birthday and probably Valentine's Day. So. What Congratulations. That's a start. Stack your cash and maybe you can find a small apartment. You should go live with Steph and Tasha while you are out there. Oh, with the lot with the new live feature that's on YouTube. That shit didn't work last time we tried to do it. I am. I'm an Aquarius. Yeah, man. I'm deeply an Aquarius too. I'm an evolved Aquarius though. Thank God, <sighs> baby. Ooh, mm, 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 mm. baby. Aquarius are a lot. I mean, it's a lot of good things, but it's. I mean, and I don't want to open the whole can of worms of astrology. I'm just thinking about the ways I've changed, and I, I'm just grateful to God. That change is an option and growth is an option. Um, everybody ready for Christmas? I'm not glad. To, I'm not ready at all. I'm not ready at all. Um. So yeah, we have just we have some things going on. We got some brunch stuff going on. Are we going? Shit, we going to a wedding. We going to a wedding on Wednesday. Wedding on Wednesday. Um. Y'all, I don't even know. We done talked about so much shit. I can't even remember what we're doing while I'm out there. We never hear about y'all Aquarius. What you mean, Aaliyah? We don't, like, you don't hear bad things? I mean, I feel like Aquarius get overshadowed by uh, Geminis and Scorpios. And, yeah. Which is cool. You know what I'm saying? For the bad shit. People are always talking about Geminis and Scorpios. The other platform was fun. How many people watched her and Tasha? What happened to fulfill this life? We're dreaming of who? What products do you deep use to deep condition? I use. Well, look, what do I use deep condition? This is what I usually put in my head. Oh, man. I don't even know. Let me tell you what's good. Briogeo is a great product for deep condition. It's expensive, but that shit is worth it, though. Do I have some more Briogeo? Yo, for deep conditioning, this right here. This I highly recommend. It's small and it's expensive. I think this small container is like $38 or $40, something like that. But if you're talking about some shit that's really going to like really be good on your hair, Briogeo. Amazing. Shit, I need to get some more of this. So let me put this up one more time. Briogeo is amazing. A great product. Um, She's a big Virgo. What's up, Rika? I was just thinking about you the other day. What's up, Serenity? I like Scorpio. Shit. 
We always have a full calendar. I know we be having so much shit going on. Uh, Jamari said, I'm a Gemini. Wait, hold on, I'm behind. Oh my God, I got to find this thing saw a long time ago that gives you three evolutions of each sign. What? Three evolutions? Oh my God. That lie with you and Ty. Oh, that's right. Duh. I don't know, babe. I don't know. I forgot that. I forgot me and Tasha did live together. I'm a Libra. I'm a Libra, but really a Gemini in disguise. That's awesome. Safe travels. Thank you, Nicole. Sally, I've been with three Aquarians. Lots of therapy. Rhonda is the third. <laughs> Ooh. Don't make it sound that bad. It's not that bad, babe. It ain't that bad. I mean, with me, I can't speak for everybody else. But I also started off a little rocky. I ain't gonna lie. I started off a little rocky. I have changed so much since her and I met. I've changed a lot. She has seen me change a lot in a very short period of time. Um, you know. Yes, I am packed. Aquarius are good partnered. Yeah, I think that I think Aquarius can be good partners. Yeah. I'm looking at this my suitcase, y'all. This shit bulging. Look at that. You probably can't really tell, but it's bulging all y'all. It's so much. Like it's so many goddamn hoodies and sweaters and button ups and shit. It's just all heavy ass clothes. Um, my birthday is the day after Christmas. I got fake plans so I can dodge everybody <laughs> I don't want to be around. I feel you, shit. You're packed and ready. Safe travels. I know you're gonna have a ball. We gonna have fun. I'm so excited. Oh, I if Alicia if if she wasn't on here. I would tell y'all what we doing. It's one of the things that I want to do, but since she on here, I can't tell y'all because it's I'm gonna surprise her. It's gonna be one of our date nights, and it's something that they have out there. I'm used to it being available out here all the time, so I don't. I'm not saying it's new out there, but the place that I found, they only have it like every twelve weeks. So when I looked into it the last time I was out there, it had already passed. Um, so I want to do that while we're out there, and. <sighs> Closing my eyes to the Libra slander. <laughs> well, I'm hard headed as fuck. Not y'all coming for the air signs. Who coming for the air signs? Ron, you know Ron excited. She got the bag at the door. <laughs> Not real. I mean, I like to switch it up. Like this going back and forth thing is fun. Well, this is what's interesting too. I used to write in my journal that I was bi coastal. I used to write that all the time, but I didn't know like be bi coastal for what. You know, I would just write. I like I would put I am and then put a bunch of stuff underneath it and I would put oh I'm bi coastal oh, yeah something will send me back and forth you know what I'm saying so not only is love an opportunity for me to kind of come back and forth I also have some work stuff that I'm doing as well so it's pretty dope what damn don't date an Aquarius you're going to suffer come on now you pushing it now come on Sally. you a Capricorn don't make me smoke the Capricorns because I'll smoke y'all I'll roast the fuck out of a Capricorn right now. Is that you a Capricorn, right? I'll roast the Capricorns right now to the to the earth. I'll smoke y'all right now. Um, I was asking about cheat monopoly, but you explained it and where to get it. Oh, got it, Nicole. That's what you was talking about. Yes, cheat monopoly is great. It's great. Um, so you want me to smoke y'all? Because you're talking about suffering. I know I'm a Capricorn rising too. I'm talking about myself too. I look, I'm all about self-reflection. I'll smoke myself too. Capricorn and Aquarius don't mix. Lying ass Libras. Not you, but them. Uh, I'm just playing. I'm not gonna smoke the Capricorns. I'm just giving you a hard time. I mean, I don't think that you I think you can suffer with anybody, to be honest with you. I think I think the suffering is an option with anybody that you would. I think that signs give you a preview or an idea of how somebody could be, um, how they might handle certain things, how they might approach it. I don't think it's the end all be all. I don't. I don't believe in signs that deeply. I mean, I do, but I don't. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do, but I don't. I came in time because who said something about a Virgo? What's up, Marla? <laughs> Marla always come in on the Virgo energy. She come in on cue all the time. Both of my parents are Gemini's, Lord. Gemini, you know, I don't have nothing bad to say about a Gemini. I don't. So, Mara, what's your sign? What's your sign? My mama is a Gemini, and we get along. We like this. So, we get along fine. Like, we are like this. One of my really good friends, Candy, 
Gemini like this. Like we're we we balance each other out. Uh, we listen to each other's crazy ass ideas. Um, and we just be floating with our where our air sign asses. You know what I'm saying? So I, I love me a Gemini. Can't count on Google. Rhonda, hey, Lisha, got a story time for you to share with the folks. Okay. I know us Capricorns can be difficult, but I've been working on myself. One of my sisters is an Aquarius, and I thought they were all horrible until I came across you, Rhonda. Oh, JB. Look, you know, again, I'm an evolved Aquarius. I, I told you, Aquarius do got some shit about them, for real. It No, for real. It is some shit. Because you know what's bad about an Aquarius? <sighs> What's bad about an Aquarius, I feel like, if you aren't one that really wants to be involved and, like, express yourself and communicate and stuff like that, you could be very standoffish and all that kind of stuff or whatever, right? An Aquarius will pull you in, will find a way to pull you in, charm the fuck out of you. We're pretty, like, intelligent people, so tell you what you want to hear. Bring you in far. real. I'm talking far, okay? You in, you in deep, okay? All the shit you said you would never do. You're going to do it, right? And then be like, no, nah, I'm just playing. Like, I'm not. Nah, it ain't for me. I'm good. For real. Seriously. I've seen that happen time and time again. You know what I mean? So, yeah, Aquarius got some fucked up shit about them. Yeah, they do. I, but, any, that's what, but everybody does. That's what I'm saying. Everybody got some fucked up shit about them. Every sign. We can go through every sign, and it's going to be something out there that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? So it is about working on yourself. Even, even if we didn't have astrology, we all got shit about us. You know, we all got some shit that's darkness. All of us do. All of us do. So I think that astrology is like fun and informative. And again, a preview. Potential, is potentiality a word? Well, let's pretend like it is. The potential of what people could be or how they may approach certain things. I just don't think it's an end all be all. I don't think so. Get to Target. They got good ones. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's a cosmic snapshot. Exactly. Sna a, snap a snapshot. Yes. Let's not even start on these zodiac signs because the answer is simple. It's something wrong with all of y'all except Virgos. I have two Aquarius sisters. I'm a Virgo. Okay, you are. Oh, that's right. You're a Virgo. That's right. That's right. Like signs usually always like, oh, okay. Air signs are easy because we like to communicate. Mm -hmm. My older sister is a Pisces and my mom is a Leo. What about Sagittarius? Sagittarius are cool. You know, Sagittarius are cool. I think I said this before. Some of them, air, I'm going to say this. I'm going to start with the bad. I'm not saying Sagittarius are arrogant. I'm saying that the most arrogant people I've ever met in my life have been, either been an Aquarius or a Sagittarius. Baby. Whew. That shit. Oh, my God. Like, oh, the most arrogant people I've ever met in my life have either been an Aquarius or Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius, I like how adventurous they are and like, and just can make shit happen, get shit done. Um, but I feel like a lot of them too are very like calculated and like <sighs> calculated and uh, feel like they can do no wrong type of people sometimes. Not, not all, I'm just saying some big energy over there. T Leo, we crazy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard from the young lady who was on the live some time ago and she was trying to leave her girlfriend is sneaking on to be the live said her girlfriend checks her phone. Hope she's okay. Um, yes, I did talk to her last. I knew she was okay. Last I knew she was okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a Sag. I love heart and very loyal. Once you do my dirty, I'm done. We all have a shadow and also need healing. Mm, that's what I'm saying. If we all were stripped of astrology, we all would have things we got to work on all of us. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that that's like an ongoing thing in life, you know, because think about it. Something that you work on now and you get through it, right? So now you've removed this, like you've done the shadow work and you're no longer a jealous person, right? You no longer struggle with jealousy and you don't struggle with it because of um, the things that you've resolved, you know, that you may have experienced in your childhood because of your siblings or how they were treated or whatever. So you get through that. You get through the jealousy part of it and you go through the next phase of your life and you always prioritize your healing. And then there's always going to be something in the shadows waiting for you. You know what I'm saying? There's always something waiting for you. So then you move on to the next phase of your life. Um, and now you may need to do shadow work around intimacy because of the relationships that you've been in and the people that you chose. Maybe you chose these people based on your parents, right? 
and it's still some familial issues and childhood issues, whatever. It's always something to work on. Always. I'm not saying you got to work on it all at once. I'm just saying there's always work to do. Always. It's always work to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's always. Pisces can be clingy. I don't get along with most Libras or Scorpios. Um, so, yeah, it's just about are you dedicated to yourself like that, that you want to do that kind of work? Because some people don't want to do the work because they're scared of what they'll find. You know, they're scared of what is going to be revealed. They're scared of, you know, understanding why they do the things that they do. Some of us don't want to know why we do the things we do. We okay with just being reckless and, you know, doing this and doing that. We don't need to know the reason why we do it. We like, this is just who I am. And, you know, to be honest with you, I'm not in the phase of like, this is just a who I am kind of person. I could not deal with a friend or a partner like that. That's too much for me. Like with somebody like, oh, this is how I am. And you're not willing to do no work. It ain't going to work. Because you're not going to wear my ass out. You ain't going to wear me out with something that you could work on. You know what I'm saying? And you're like, yeah, this probably is a problem, but it's fine. I've been doing it for 40 years anyway, so I'm going to keep on doing it. And you wonder why nobody is with you. You wonder why nobody is standing around you. You wonder why you don't have anybody to call. You wonder why nobody wants to hear your stories. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the times it's us. You the problem. You the problem, honey. What's up, Nakia? <sighs> Work, I mean, working on myself is like not my, it's not my favorite thing to do. I, <laughs> I don't like it, but it got to be done though. You know what I'm saying? So mm. working on myself, it just feel like you constantly being slapped in the face. That shit don't feel good at all. Uh, I do want to know why I always go off on people. You should look into that key. You know what I'm saying? You should look into that because to me, I don't think that that's just, don't get me wrong. Some people need, you need to go off on their ass, but always doing it, it gotta be something there for sure. We're human. Our souls are experiencing a human experience. That's what's important to stay spiritual, elevated. So the flesh doesn't take over. Oh, I agree. Yep. I agree. One hundred percent. And it's very easy for us to not be elevated or become disconnected because we have so many other things that require our attention, you know, and I was I require, I mean, it Lucy, I don't mean it like that, but I'm talking about social media and all social media is a huge part of why I think a lot of people are disconnected is because look, how, why would I have time to work on myself when I need to scroll? I prefer to scroll than to work on my soul pretty much, you know, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I prefer this over that. And also being in somebody else's business is much easier than being in my own. You know what I mean? Like it's much easier to be all in your shit, have an opinion about it, invest it, know where you turn in, who you've been with, what's going on. You know way more about this person than you know about your damn self. Right. So, I mean, there's so many things that keep us from being connected, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? So younger me stayed ready to pop. Once my niece came, I calmed down because I had her all the time. Mm -hmm. I need to learn how to shut the hell up. <laughs> and let people talk because I mean, a lot of the things that you need are in them talking. That's something I had to realize recently too. And this is even in my relationship with Lisha, you know, a lot of the things that I get curious about and want to ask are usually in what she's trying to tell me, you know, it's like, just listen for a second. It's like, and if I still have questions and I'm still curious, I can ask that, you know what I'm saying? What's up? What's going on? Heaven? How you doing? It's good to see you. Happy Saturday to you. I feel like Leos can be very arrogant and annoying, but for some reason, I feel like I sniff some catnip when I'm around them. Oh, okay. When you have to look in the mirror and face yourself, it can be scary as hell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's very scary. It's very, very scary. I'm loving this conversation. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Taking control of our soul is super important because if we don't, then enemy has a chance to infiltrate our lives. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is the truth. I mean, that's the thing, too. You know, when you work on yourself and you really are tapped in spiritually... It raises your awareness and your consciousness. Like, and that's what's extremely important. Like awareness is what gives you what you need to understand who you're dealing with, what's around you, what works for you, what doesn't. That's what helps you. You know what I'm saying? The awareness and consciousness to make those decisions. And we make so many decisions every single day, you know? And some important decisions are like the company that you keep, the people you spend the time with. And I've, you know, I've went through long stretches of my life when I was making bad decisions, being around the wrong people. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't see if I couldn't see why they weren't a good fit and why they shouldn't have been in my life, you know. Meditation is amazing. I love meditation. Meditation is something that I do daily. 
I've been doing like sacral, um, sacral chakra healing, like meditations recently. And it's been like very eye opening, very eye opening. Um, so that's what helped me with my creativity. I think I told y'all I had a block where I couldn't do a story time for three months. And the story time I did recently was a result of me like putting the effort and time into trying to unblock that part of me, you know? So, and shout out to my honey for helping me to discover that I was even having an experience in that type of blockage, you know? Just a little love is all we need. What's up, Harrigans? What's going on? Good to see you. <laughs> Being self-aware is both scary and liberating. Mm -hmm. Perspective is everything. And learning how to love yourself even more so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. That's our secret, y'all. My baby be napping. Best relationship nap together. <laughs> We do take good naps. We take good naps and then we get up and we go out and be home by nine. And I like it. I like it. That's a good life for me. I'm cool with that. I ain't got to be out all night. She ain't trying to be out all night. Because let me tell you something. Ain't nothing worse than when you and your partner ain't on the same page about, not on the same page. Y'all are different people. But if y'all don't like to hang out the same, whoo, baby. And look, I used to be a person that could hang out, you know? So being with somebody that's trying to, I'm not saying her, I'm talking about in my past. I've been with somebody that wanted to be home by 11, but baby, I'm trying to be here until it closes. So trying to meet somewhere in the middle used to be so hard. So I'm really glad that we hang out the same. We do. We like the same stuff. We be ready to go at the same time. Cool. She look at me. I look at her. You ready? All right, let's go. Um... Yes, those nap days be everything. We be knocked the fuck out over here and gone. We keep singing at the same time. I just stumbled upon a good combo. I like accountability. Was it? We were talking about accountability. We we're talking about, you know, um, staying tapped in spiritually um, and just how important that is like to your life. You know what I'm saying? Because we start, started with astrology, started with astrology and, you know, but also just talking about how we need to do shadow work. Um, and how there's always work to be done on ourselves. And there's so many different ways to do that work. Like, like working on yourself doesn't look one way, you know? Um, and I hope that's something all of us can realize, you know, you can really get your healing, your healing process can just co constantly change. Or you might find one thing that works for you, you know? Um, when I look back to how I ended up in an abusive relationship long ago, I realized it was because I was abused almost my whole life. She had all the toxic traits of my parents and all of my siblings. Mm, so that's what it, the familiarity like drew you in, right? It felt familiar. It felt, you know, it may be a part of, I mean, I hate that you were in an abusive relationship, but maybe that also being with her was a part of you ending that cycle in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like kind of facing it in a different dynamic and having a chance to really close that cycle of your life so that you can stop attracting those kind of people and being drawn to that familiar type of wound and that energy, you know, uh, what she say when people say they are spiritual, what exactly does that mean? Is it religious? I hope this is not a foolish question. I'm unaware. No, it's not. It's not. It's not a foolish question at all. I think, I mean, I'm gonna give you my definition of what I think spiritual is. I don't think I'm a religious person. Like I'm not tied down and committed to Christianity. I'm not tied down and committed to Buddhism. Like not, not at all. Right. But I can be open to different things, but honestly, I don't sit in like at a book and just read certain things. I feel like a lot of me being spiritual is just being tapped into like nurturing my relationship with God. Um, and as I nurture my relationship with God and my, and building my trust with God, it built my trust with myself. You know, because I went through a period of life where I didn't trust myself. I was indecisive. I couldn't make decisions and I couldn't stand on anything, you know, and that disconnect was because I wasn't attached to anything. I didn't have a source. There was no there was nothing that I believed in. I'm not saying I didn't believe in God. I'm saying like I didn't believe in that relationship. So to me, spirituality is just it's the relationship that you have with the source to me. And that could be whatever, you, whatever you believe in, you know, Um God, you may consider God a, as, as a goddess. You may see God as however you envision God or whatever you believe in the universe, whatever it is. But I do think that spirituality is being deeply connected to some type of source um, where you understand that there's just something higher than you and you rely on that thing to kind of navigate through life. You know, that's what I, that's how I describe spirituality. 
I did that today. Loved it. Last day almost. I'm going to take one more alone tomorrow. I love taking that to myself. I want the whole bed to myself. I know it's selfish. Um, how can people love themselves when all their lives they have been told they are worthless? Man, I think a lot of it is... Hmm. I know it's easy to believe what you've been told your entire life, especially by people who were supposed to, who had a job to, you know, be there for you, love on you, support you, guide you, all those things. And there just comes a time when you have to just rely on yourself, you know? Well, yeah, you do. You have to rely on yourself. And, you know, when you turn 18, 20, you know, as you become a young adult, you start sorting through all of the things you've been given in life, right? And I think at that time, it becomes like who you surround yourself with right? Because you're now getting a chance to make your own decisions and kind of build your life. I do believe that people should be more involved in their lives before they turn 18, but a lot of us aren't. We have people, guardians, parents who control us and want us to be and live and do certain things. So you don't really have control until you're older, you know? And I think it's about just unpacking and looking at all the things you've been given up until that point and seeing what works and what doesn't. And I know that it also requires you to be around the right people that can show you that you deserve X, Y, and Z, you know? So it requires you also to be around different types of people, being open-minded um, and not just believe that because if somebody is telling you you're worthless and you're this and you're that, they're projecting it because they were told the same thing. You know, they don't know how to show love because they were never given it. And that doesn't make it okay. But you know, once you become a young adult, your life becomes your responsibility. So it is about trying to figure out what's working and what doesn't. And I think that trying to find resources to help you figure out what's working and what's not, you know, um, learn the four agreements and the law of detachment. I appreciate your perspective. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. I appreciate y'all being here too and talking. I definitely had to self-reflect and take accountability for my actions as well. And I try to do things different now. Mm -hmm. Oops. Get sent by accident. Self-reflection to determine what you need to work on is key. Yeah. Self-reflection for sure. And I know like when me, I used to sit in like self-reflection, like reflect on well, what am I thinking about exactly? Like, where am I going? But I'm telling you, like the turning point in my life was just, I didn't have anywhere to go. I was at the bottom. So there was nowhere else to go. So I turned to God and I literally surrendered. You know, I didn't want to be the person that showed up in church because I had something that I needed or I wanted. You know what I'm saying? I had my hand out and I've had moments when I was that person. I only showed up and got dressed because it was something that I wanted from God. You know, I wasn't actively working on my relationship though. And I do feel like turning to God helped me turn to myself. You know what I mean? Because it was like God was pushing it back on me, telling me to be an active participant in my own life. You know, like I've given you this life, I've given you a blessing and what exactly are you doing with it? You know? And so I had to turn inward, you know, everything you're looking for is always, it's always available and it's there. It's inside of you. And unfortunately, a lot of us won't ever see it or we see it very late in life, you know, but once you go in and you understand like who you are, why you're, why you exist and you find your purpose and stuff like that, like, I think that your life just becomes so full, you know what I mean? Like it makes it easier to navigate through the bullshit, you know, escaping the matrix is definitely a journey. <sighs> yes, it is. What's up, hurt flies? That's a good thing right now. You're dealing with a lot of extra will be more drama. What happened? Wait, what did I miss? I missed something. Mm -hmm. I did that. Da, da, da. What did I ever say? Thank you, Lisha. The Four Agreements. That book is law. I love that book. It's a really good book. It's a good book. I mean, it's just so much. I don't know. Like, I'll tell you what, that's one thing for sure. A lot of reading opened my mind up to certain things too. A lot of reading. And I like, for me, it really started in 2017 when I started with ego as the enemy, like really understanding ego, just understanding different concepts and stuff, like hearing things being presented to me for the first time. Like I heard of ego presented one particular way, but then hearing it the way that it was presented in that book gave me perspective and insight for me to start understanding. And like, once you have a better understanding of anything, I think that it becomes much easier to kind of like get through life a little bit. You know, I'm not saying life is not complicated because it is. Um, but it's like the more tools that we have, the more information, the more clarity that we have, 
I think the easier it is because like, it's like, I know something is ahead. I know there are going to be problems. I know the issues will arise, but I'm also not afraid. I'm well equipped to get through those things. Does that make sense? Like, that's the thing is like being, being, knowing that I can, I'm equipped to, to deal with anything that, that comes my way, you know, and all of that really just comes from like practice. So essentially me, it's like practicing and understanding certain things. God is within us. The more we become connected with him, the more we discover who we created to be. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I agree with that. I agree 100%. So like me not having a relationship with God, the one that, I mean, yeah, I believed in God because that's what my family told me to do growing up, was in church, was never paying attention, didn't read the Bible, none of that stuff. So when I became, when it became my responsibility to nourish this relationship, my relationship with God, I didn't do that. You know? I remember I would close my eyes and try to pray. Didn't like the thoughts wouldn't come. I didn't know what to say. I'm like, this is weird. I used to be embarrassed to like praise God and stuff like that. And I don't know. Like, like I said, I turned to God because I didn't have nowhere else to go. And God was there, you know? So a lot of times when I'm praying and stuff, y'all, I'll just be crying because I think about like that God did not give up on me when I was not around. I was not nurturing the relationship. I was not showing up and talking and having a conversation when I didn't want anything. I would literally only go to God when I wanted something, you know, or if something bad happened and now God, I need you. But it's just like, you know, I, I wasn't nourishing the relationship. I wasn't. But when I decided to really surrender to having a better understanding and talking consistently and because it's a partnership, I look at my my relationship with God as a partnership. Like I do my part, you do your part. That's kind of how it feels, you know? And, you know, God, there's all of these blessings and stuff like that, but it's like lessons and stuff that I had to do, barriers I had to remove, um, different ways of thinking that I had to develop and spend time, you know? And that's when God is like, the blessings are there. I, it's already there waiting on you, but I need you to be willing to do something different. I need you to get out of your own way. Like I created you strong enough and powerful enough to get out of the way. And I had to start doing those things, you know? And believing in myself. So I didn't believe, I didn't believe in myself. It's nuts because pride and ego are initially taught as great things until those some those same things become barriers to your own growth. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot. It, I mean, I definitely know things now that I wish I would have known 10 years ago or living a certain kind of way, thinking a certain kind of way. You know, I wish, but you know, everything happens in at the right time. You know, I guess if I would have, I don't know, I guess I wasn't ready 10 years ago, but I am now. Has anyone been really taking in that we are in the last two weeks of the year? Any goals y'all want to achieve within these next two weeks? Any goals y'all have set for January? Do tell. Mm. Some things that I want to focus on are. I'm writing these scripts out and doing research for um, a podcast idea that I have. So for, for the last two weeks, I need to continue to work on it because I have like in February while I'm gone, I have some event stuff that's coming up that pertains to like my documentary and stuff. Um, there's like an entire weekend dedicated to it. And, you know, I'm going to be meeting a lot of people and networking and stuff. And I, I don't want to be the person who's not prepared for an opportunity, you know? So I want to develop and like really get my next project. I want to get like three scripts done. So that when I'm networking and meeting people and people are going to ask you what's next, you know, the documentary was great. What are you working on now? I want to be prepared for those. So that's pretty, really my main thing is to focus on those scripts for that podcast and to do an outline for a TV show, this TV show idea that I have. Goals for January, February, March are to get back on my feet and start school. Yes, 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 yes. My new always starts on my birthday, so I don't really have any new goals. Only thing I plan is to do winter cleaning before the new year starts. Purge things that that need to go. Goal is to graduate. Nice. So yeah, my goals, my, my, I have writing goals, which is nice to have, honestly, because I haven't been writing. So yeah, I want to just get my writing stuff done and be ready. What's up, Shantavia? What's going on? Happy Saturday to you. Just a little love is all we need. My, 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 my. I want to save a thousand dollars in these last couple of weeks and to start on this personal goal of mine I've been preparing for. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. I love it. I love it. I do. Um, that's good. I, I love to hear that. 
So I think for me, I can be somebody who I get so excited about ideas that I got to just make sure that I like hone in and focus on like one, two things max, you know, so that I can get that thing done and move on to the next thing and really give it my all. So that's really what I, that's my goal, honestly, going into the new year is that, did I, I feel like I wrote some goals on my, did I write some goals in my phone? Let me see. Oh, I did. Uh, my, so see, these are some of the 2023 goals I wrote down the other day. I wrote these. When did I write this down? I wrote this in the last seven days. It says, um, I want to lose 30 pounds and adopt a realistic lifestyle change. Like realistic. I don't want to be nothing ridiculous or just something that's like a fad, like realistic daily meditation to, and continue to pour into myself spiritually. I want to write a book, um, submit film festival to a hundred film festivals over the next year. Um, I want to kill it. My goal is to kill it. Like I was telling you, we have these, some stuff coming up relating to our documentary in February. And it's like a three-day thing. And I want to just kill that shit. That's my goal is to kill it. And to launch and remain consistent with my new podcast ideas, the scripted podcast. So to launch and remain consistent with that. Those are my goals that I wrote down the other day. I'm a rehabilitated control freak. I try to be careful not to set goals because my ambition self be meeting them in two months. But I have had to say anything is starting my podcast. Mm. Yes, I'm here for the podcast. And it's a great idea. It's so great to hear you speak of your relationship with God. My son recently came out and was made to believe by mean people that a relationship with God is no longer an option. Mm, that happens a lot, Nicole, a lot. And I'm glad that your son has somebody like you that can tell him that that's not true. You know, that he still is, is, is still lovable, that he is still worthy, that he is still able to nurture that relationship. Um, and, you know, like his, his life is going to have such an impact because because of that. I mean, you, we all have, we all have the ability to have impact anyway, you know, but I do think that, you know, throwing the whole like gay thing in the mix into my life, I think added an extra layer to my impact. You get what I'm saying? Cause I now I'm a part of a different type of community as well. So there's so many intersections that I'm a part of and being black, being queer is a, is a big, is a part of who I am. It's not my entire identity, but it is a part of my identity. And I'm proud of that. And you know, when people can say that they feel comfortable being themselves because of whatever, and you're a part of that, that means a lot. So, you know, I'm glad that you're supportive and that you can show him that he still deserves love, you know, regardless. So, and I'm glad that he felt comfortable enough to come out to you. That's, that's a pretty big deal. Wait, a TV show. I heard that. Good luck with everything, Rhonda. Thank you, heaven. I'm so excited about everything. All of the things. What's up, rewind button? Virgo things. Let's show, I do the same thing. Happy fucking weekend, everybody. My dad was like, what you want to do for your birthday next week? I'm like, what? Can't believe we at the end of December. Mm -hmm. Have you guys read Atomic Habits? Good read for changing lifestyle habits. Amazing. One of the best books I've ever listened to, Mara. I want to revisit it. Um, but like the habit stacking, the just all of it, you know, I, incredible storytelling. I love the story of, you know, him as a baseball player and you know, how he was knocked unconscious and all of it. Like that book was really, really good. Atomic Habits is absolutely one. That's probably like one of the top five books I've ever read, you know, and it really just makes you, you know, I, I mean, obviously I've heard that like you are what you do, but the way that he breaks it down is like, damn. And I love that it's not overwhelming because, you know, the focus is about being 1% better. Like if you're 1% better consistently and not feeling like you got to be 100% better overnight, that's a huge difference. And it gives us a, a sense of relief and it's just realistic to be 1% better. You know what I'm saying? So just the small things that we could do that eventually add up. It's a great book, a great book. Ooh, what time is it? Damn, it's eight. Shit. 
Y'all remember? So y'all remember I painted my nails? My nails were black, right? And I had the gel on there. Y'all, the gel came off so fast. So I think it was the kind of gel that she used. But y'all look, these the longest my nails have been. I mean, it ain't much, so don't laugh. But <laughs> look at my little nails, y'all. I'll be over here. Look, this is what I'll be over here doing. Y'all hear that little noise I'm making? Yeah. Yes. My little nails is growing, y'all. The little nails that could. My mom be laughing at my nails and I be typing. Um, to throw a little joke in the chat real quick. Did y'all hear about the gay porn that was leaked on YouTube? Oh, Young Thug's court trial today. What? No. No, I ain't heard. I ain't heard about it. The heaven, I haven't really been on social media. Well, I mean, I guess YouTube don't count. I haven't seen it in my feed, though. I haven't seen it. Ain't my little nails cute? I'm probably going to cut them off, but, you know, I let them try to do their thing. This ash, the water is so hard in California, y'all. Look at this ashy-ass hand. Look at that. How old this hand look? I feel like it look way older than I am. Jesus. The water is so hard. Um, I feel like I've been putting on, like, cream and oil all day. You see that old ass hand? Exactly. This no, this is like a 60-year-old hand, don't it? Look at that. This hand looks like a struggle, don't it? Shit. And the crazy part is it's usually worse than this. It's that hard water here, too. It's ridiculous. Rusting my skin. Man, this hand. Ugh. All these trials are getting wild. The Meg the Stallion and Tory Lane trial is crazier by the day. I heard somebody was talking about it on the podcast I was listening to. No, I have an amazing hand cream. I do. It's just, but I keep on using the water because I got to, I wash my hands several times a day. So I don't know, man, but mm. <laughs> a 60 year old hand with a 30 year old face. Well, thank you. I'll take the 30 year old face. I'll take that. Um, Then look like holiday cooking hands. I'm going to get some wine and put my feet up. Uh-uh. You, I'm not doing the holiday cooking. I'm going to be the sous chef, honey. Now, look, I don't mind. No, no, no. I can't be playing around. So, you know how to make holiday dinner. I don't. So, I'm the sous chef. Remember, I'm chopping and grating. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to follow your lead in the kitchen. I can make the greens. That's all I can do. But if you put your feet up, we ain't going to have no traditional dinner at all. Some userin. I feel like I have some of that. Nivy is a great hand body cream. I need something because this ain't it. Let me see. What's that stuff called that I have? I feel like it was... Is it called you three? Do you believe in love? And I promise that it gives. I want to love you. Where is that? Y'all, I, I feel like I have some you three. Well, I, have, I can't find it. That's why it ain't working because I can't find it. <laughs> I work on Christmas. I think I'm gonna eat either a salad or a burger or a Burger King that day. <sighs> I think being crazy and bitch is a Virgo thing because why are my goals set for two to three months too? Lie detector tests can't be presented in court. Results are not always accurate. Everybody have a good night. Merry Christmas. Rhonda, safe travels. Let us know. You made it say. I sure will. Malika, happy holidays to you. Thank you for coming and hanging out. You have a good one. And sometimes I expect people to work at the same pace as me, but I shouldn't. Ooh, shit. Shit hurt. It's cracked all oh, cracked up. I'm leaving tomorrow, heaven. Tomorrow, my flight leaves at 10 a.m. I'm glad I got to go live because I haven't been live in a while. But I'm going to put a video out like in two or three days. If that, I mean, I don't know. Put a travel vlog out. Sounded all old talking about it. It's, it is. It's all cracked up, man. This shit hurt. <laughs> Get somebody else to do it. Can't be me. It ain't me. See, this is the stuff that cleared my hand up last year. This healing cream with aloe. But I just found this, though. Like, I had lost it or whatever. So... This my the y'all this hand, the way you saw it, it you it looks 60 a second ago. 
Last year, it looked 100. I'm not kidding you. It was all blood. It was like cracking like a motherfucker. But this stuff really worked last year. But I just found it. Where did, where did I find this? Yesterday. Thank you. I'm about to get ready to get i I'm about to get ready to go too, y'all. It's almost been two hours. I gotta go. I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair. I need to take a shower. I need to go to bed because I need to get up early in the morning. Because we gotta leave at 6 45. And you know what I need to do is download a bunch of stuff. I need to make sure my music is ready to go. And I need to download some movies. Movies and shows. So that's all I'm about to do right now. I'm about to work on that. I got to be up at 5 a.m. tomorrow, then Monday through Thursday. I got to be at work. For, damn, you got to get up early. Thank y'all for coming to hang out with me. I appreciate it. It was good talking with y'all. Um, next time I see y'all, I will be in Ohio. I'm going to put a travel vlog out. Hopefully by like Monday or Tuesday. And then put something else out in the later of the week. I mean, uh, later on in the week. Whew. It's my fault because I hardly lotion my hands after washing. That's it. That's true. Like when I do dishes and stuff, I forget to lotion after that. Thank you so much, y'all, for coming through and hanging out. It's good to see everybody. I don't, you, I have, it's my TikTok is Rhonda's Real Talk. I ain't got nothing on it though. Not one video, but I want to work on that too. But no pressure on myself. Our last wake up in different states. Oh, honey. Hmm. So sweet. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, honey. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. It was good talking. Good conversation as always. I appreciate y'all. I will be going live while I'm in Ohio as well. So I will see y'all on the live stream or I'll see y'all in the comments on the videos. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for being here. And like I said, for y'all that are in Ohio, I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to choose a date and choose a location. Hope y'all can come and meet me for happy hour to celebrate my birthday. And I just want to sit and talk to y'all and have fun and take pictures. I want to take pictures too. So I'm, I'm excited about the potential, like having a chance to meet some people uh, while I'm gone. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the safe travels. Thank you very, very much. I think that means a lot to me. Thank you. You're welcome, Jemaya. Just keep on fighting, please. Because you're, like I said, you're here for a reason. You know, I've loved your vibe and your energy since you came. You know, like you, you on the younger side, but you cool though. You're very cool. And you're going to continue to just be on your journey. And it's always going to be bumps in the road, always. But there's always a way out. There's always light towards everything. I promise you it is. Like, it, you know, shit gets tough. And your back be against the wall. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to hold you and make you make it seem like it's all cherries and flowers and shit all the time because it's not you know, but knowing how to get through those things, you know, that's just something that's going to come to you and become more, more second nature as you get older and continue to experience more things. But I want you to be around to experience that stuff, you know? Um, thank you, Mara. I appreciate it. Oh, you're going to be out there until February. I am having, I'm going to be there until February 12th, but I think I might have a happy hour into January, like maybe the, tw maybe the 28th, possibly the 28th. Because the first weekend of February, I got a bunch of stuff to do with at these events. And then my actual birthday, we're probably going to be, you know, at other places. So, um, but anyways, if you haven't given a live a thumbs up, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And again, I'll see you all on the next live stream or I will see you all in the comments on the next video. All right. So thank you all for coming through. Have a good rest of the night. Enjoy your weekend. You're in Ohio. I, I would love to meet you. I would love to. Like, that would be so dope. Anybody that can come, I'm, I'm going to post the information. Me and Lisha going to be there. Okay. Virgo Bay is going to be in the house. And we're going to have fun. You know, like I said, we're going to eat us some appetizers, have some drinks, and have some fun. That's what we're going to do. All right. Lisha said, oh, you are, Mar. I don't think, I, maybe you probably have said that before, Mar, but I'll be forgetting. I'll be forgetting all kind of shit. So. Well, that would be dope. I would love to meet as many of you as I can. That would be so amazing. Like, I've bumped into a couple of people so far, but, like, I would love to come to something that's, so, that's organized where we have, there's a location and everybody is welcome to come. And we just, you know, just chill for a little bit. That would be dope. I would love that. Oh, shit. I thought I uh, see this thing be tripping.
Shemaiah, keep positive, talk to God one day when you're sitting high on your throne. Those who wronged you will be on their knees begging you for another chance. Uh, so the happy hour is going to be in Columbus. Somewhere in Columbus is where I'm going to plan it. Got to find a place. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking January 28th. So it's a little before my birthday, but still we'll have a chance to get together. So I'll make sure I post the information about it. All right, y'all. You're in Columbus. Oh, okay. That's dope. Okay. So you close. That would be dope. We'll love it if you can make it. So I'm thinking, I think the 28th, honestly, I think the 28th is going to be like the best day. Is that the, is that the day? I feel like it is. Yeah, Saturday the 28th. I think they will be able to make that work. But like I said, I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to get the day squared away. We're going to find a location. Choose a time. And I want to be able to tell y'all sooner than later so people can plan to make the drive or get a babysitter or whatever you need. You know, whatever you got to do to get there. Um, and I just can't wait. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be really fun for us to get together and just like have some food and talk and just meet face to face. So, but I will keep y'all posted. And Rhonda, if I ever... Get big. <laughs> I know to keep you in mind. Absolutely, it don't matter what you got going on in life. Just keep me in mind, either way, for real. Because you know, it takes a village, and it's a it's a hell of a journey. And it's nice to have people along the way. So just keep me in mind, no matter what. It's not about you getting big. It's just about you, um, you know, living a a a life filled with joy and doing the best that you can every day, whatever that looks like. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want for you. I want you to. You know, have your pockets of happiness because happiness is a very fleeting feeling. I'm not going to lie to you, but like the joy and the feeling of peace. I want you to experience that. That's what I want you to have no matter what. All right. Thank you, Nicole. I appreciate it. You have a good night as well. Thank you guys so much for being here and coming through and hanging out for a little bit. Um, I'm glad I got a chance to talk to y'all and have some good conversation before I leave. So um, if you don't have your notifications on, if you're not subscribed, y'all subscribe to the channel. And if you're not getting your notifications, turn them off and then put them back on and set it to all so you can get them. I heard that that's a good workaround and a good fix if you're not getting notifications. So thank y'all so much. Thank you, Reed, for dropping the link. I appreciate it. So I'll see y'all soon. Y'all take care. Be safe. Bye, y'all.